Nino Brown Boxing, and I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Man, oh man, Deontay Wilder does it again with a dramatic seventh round knockout. One hit a quitter. Put Luis Ortiz scrambled his brain tonight. Hey, all I gotta say is congratulations to Deontay Wilder on this victory. Now, a quick recap of the fight. To me, Wilder, he fought a very smart fight. Wilder understands how dangerous Luis Ortiz is, and Wilder definitely remembers the seventh round that took place in their first fight. It seemed to me that Wilder was on a mission that he wasn't gonna take any type of risk that puts him in a position where he has to relive the seventh round in the first fight that he had, and it worked like a charm. Wilder, I noticed, you know, he, he kept a light, jab, a light jab out there as a range finder, and while Wilder, he slightly incorporated the left hook, um, some to the body, some to the head, but it definitely came, it definitely kept Luis Ortiz honest. Now, Luis Ortiz, on the other hand, I was really enjoying the body work that he continuously had. It was definitely making me nervous. I was thinking to myself, if this fight goes into deep waters and Luis Ortiz picks up this um, body attack, like, could this affect Deontay Wilder in the late rounds and leave him susceptible to one of Luis Ortiz's powerful left hands? But that wasn't the case. Wilder was able to knock Luis Ortiz out in the seventh round. Kenny Bayless gave Ortiz the benefit of the doubt. He gave him damn near a full 10 count. Um, Ortiz, he just didn't have it in him to get back up. I can't even blame it on A's. Or Ortiz was definitely in great shape. Um, he showed up. He was smart, but he was also aggressive. And definitely just shout out to Luis Ortiz. Shout out to his family. And shout out to Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder made, made the world know that the first fight was not a fluke. So any of the doubters, all of the bullshit excuses that was associated with the first fight, um, any of the excuses that came from the doctor wanting to look at Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder did exactly what he set out to do. He erased all doubt that came up in the first fight and he knocked Luis Ortiz the fuck out. It's really that simple. So congratulations to Wilder. Wilder is planning on Tyson Fury in February. I mean, we all know, like, the backstory with him and Fury. We all understand that Fury's on that bullshit. We don't know if he's a professional boxer, a WWE star, and now he's talking about um, fighting someone in the UFC. And uh, Tyson Fury has been alluding to the fact that he may be injured. It's always a risk. So we have to wait and see how that shit plays out. But Deontay Wilder did let the world know. I never doubted Wilder. I didn't doubt him. I'm bomb squad all the way, team Wilder all day, every day. And Deontay Wilder let the world know that he is the baddest man in boxing. He is, he has like a blessing from God in his right hand to render a man unconscious at his will. To anybody that says that Wilder doesn't have skills, you're blind. You don't know what the fuck you're looking at. Wilder was very disciplined tonight, and to, make, to stay that disciplined in the ring with a guy like Luis Ortiz, someone as skilled as him, like they said in the introduction of the fight, Luis Ortiz has 300 plus amateur wins who come from the, the Cuban school of boxing. Uh, Luis Ortiz is being ducked by all the other heavyweights. Um, Tyson Fury, um, Klitschko didn't fight him. Anthony Joshua didn't want to fight him. Shit, Eddie Hearn signed Luis Ortiz so he could stay away from Anthony Joshua. Dillian White don't want any smoke with him. So for Deontay Wilder to put himself in a position where he was not hurt, he wasn't staggered, that's skill. In order, in order to stay up in a ring against a skilled opponent like Luis Ortiz, it takes skill. You have plenty of guys out here that are strong enough and they have enough power if they can connect, they can knock a man out, but they're not professional fighters because they don't possess the skills. Deontay Wilder has the skills, his skills paid off, his game plan was perfectly executed, and Deontay Wilder is still the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. It's Nino Brown Boxing, shout out to the LDBC, and I'm out.